Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today what I'm going to be talking about is how to make a bootable USB drive to run your FreeNAS 8 operating system on your server. Um, there's a little bit of information out there on how to do this, but none really goes into a lot of detail on exactly how to do it. So that's why I'm making this video to show uh, the Mac users in particular exactly how to do this. All right, um, so let's get to it. First thing you're gonna need, of course, is your USB thumb drive. Um, the operating system recommends at least one gig. Uh, Walmart doesn't have any one gigs where I live, so I had to get a two gig. And they only ran about eight bucks, so it wasn't anything too bad. I did have a four gig. Uh, the software said that it was too big. So I recommend either a two gig or a one gig, just to save you any trouble. Alright, let's get to it. First thing you're gonna need is Keka or Kika, however you pronounce it. You just go to Google, type it in, it's the first one. Alright, hit click here to download it. Uh, nothing really extensive should pop up, it's just, just a small file. Next you're gonna need your free NAS operating system software. All right, now what you're looking for is the XZ full install. All right, the I386 is gonna be for your 32-bit operating system, and the 64 is gonna be for your 64-bit operating system. Uh, don't pay attention to the AMD, that doesn't mean uh, it's for AMD processes or anything, that's just what it's called. Uh, me, myself, I'm running my free NAS machine on a 32-bit operating system so I downloaded this one you just click it to download it uh, it takes about five minutes to download and that's it also just save it to your desktop to make this a lot easier just save everything to your desktop all right so here it is after it's finished downloading what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click open with and open with that program Keka that we downloaded initially all right, open with it. It's going to start extracting it. I'm not going to do it because I already did it. All right, once that's done, though, you will get this file right here. And it's basically the exact same thing, but without the .xz at the end. All right. So once you get that, you're ready to put it on your USB disk. So with your USB disk out of your computer, we're going to open up terminal. Those of you who aren't comfortable with working with terminal because you don't want to mess up anything, I'm going to make this as easy as possible so you don't screw up anything. All right, so you go to terminal. And I have a list of all the commands that you're going to type in the more info section. So you're going to click on the first command, command C to copy it, command V to paste it, hit enter. And this gives you a list of disks that are in your computer right now. As you can see, the only disk that I have in my computer right now is the internal hard drive. All right, now what you're going to want to do is you want to take your USB drive and put it in. If you got more than just your internal hard drive, that's fine. Just remember, ignore that when it pops up. But uh, just remember what you, what you actually have hooked up to your computer already. Like right now, I, I, it's just one, so it's just disk zero. So that means anything else that pops up after I run this again will be uh, my thumb drive. So hit Command V again enter now you can see two popped up uh, as you can see I already put the uh, free NAS on here so don't pay any attention to that all you're looking for is this DEV forward slash disk one that is the name of your thumb drive you're gonna want to remember that disk one all right yours might be two three or four or whatever um, the size is two gig as you can see and disk one, that's what you want to remember. 
All right, now what you want to do is you want to navigate to the desktop. What you need to do to tell Terminal to look on your desktop is type in or copy and paste that second command on number two. Highlight it, Command C. Go over to Terminal, make sure it's gray, and Command V to paste. Enter. Now you should see whatever the name of your computer is, desktop, and uh, your username. So that lets you know that now Terminal is looking on your desktop. Now the next thing you want to do is that file that Keka made, you want to right click it. Right click it, get info. And what you're looking for is the exact name of this file. You can just type it in, whatever, but the easiest thing for me to do is to go here. And this is exactly how the computer is looking at it, so this is what I'm going to use. Copy that, Command C. Now, the easiest thing for you to do is to open up terminal like I have it here. Take that third command prompt and paste it in terminal. Now what you're going to do is right after the equal sign, you're going to you're going to paste this name. All right, so hit command V and it's going to paste it. All right, now what you're going to need is the name of your disk. Mine is disk one, as you can see right here, disk one. So you're gonna take the name of your disk and you're gonna put it right after this DEV. So after this DEV forward slash, right after the forward slash, I'm gonna type disk one, D-I-S-K one, exactly like it says it on the side. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this whole thing Highlight it. Command C, copy. Go into terminal. Command V, paste. And hit enter. Now, if you got the sand disk like I did, you notice that the light on it is flashing. That means that it's working. Um, if your terminal looks exactly like mine that means it's working all you're gonna see is a little gray block down there not blinking or nothing this takes about seven to ten minutes um, to do and when it's done I'll show you exactly what it looks like when it's done uh, if this didn't work for you if you um, had a problem if it had an error when you try to do any of this uh, just leave me a message in the comment section and let me know what happened one of the things that I do remember that happened to me um, is it said that something about the disc being mounted so it can't do anything with the disc mounted um, so what you want to do in that situation is you want to go to disk utility find the disc and right here right here it says mount because mine isn't mount mounted but if yours was mounted and you got the error saying that it was mounted, then just hit unmount and then do uh, everything that I said all over again. But this is doing its thing and I'll just come back whenever it's done. All right, now you can see that it's finished. Uh, when it's finished, you'll see a number plus one records in, a number records out, and now it's done. All I gotta do is um, eject it, use your disk utility, and just click on the sand disk or whatever you're using, then hit eject. Um, and after that, it's ready to go put in your free NAS machine and uh, boot it up. There's plenty of videos out there on that, so I probably won't make one unless I get a bunch of requests to. Then I'll go through that and show you how to do it.